Matt's really changed the RV industry because he's challenged all of these major RV converters. Good manufacturers, they will change and they will update. And the bad manufacturers, they'll be like, well, we've been doing this for 40 years and that's it. All right, well, Blockbuster also said that, guys. <laughs> you wanna just drive around the lot and see what's going on? So or? I'm gonna grab a golf cart. Okay. I'll come pick you up and then we'll Perfect. go drive around. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna see how good of a salesman Matt's RV Reviews is. Do you guys think Matt's gonna be able to sell me an RV? We're putting in work out here for you. It's raining, but we wanna get you guys the coolest RV content. Matt's like, oh, we could go check out the store in Florida. I'm like, even though it's raining, let's just like, why don't we go get soaking wet driving around in a golf cart? Just to see all these beautiful RVs here at General RV. It's so much warmer in Florida. <laughs> Give us about 12 hours and we'll be in Florida. But this is a great facility now. I like that American dream, buddy. Any chance we could, you guys got any of those we could review by chance? Um, so that one's in for service. That might, that might be the only one here. No worries. No. Some nice Integras. You guys got some heavy metal on the lot. Well, the problem is we just don't have a lot of inventory right now. Like this is all our big diesel and that, that's it. And, and you that's, know, let, let's take a drive around the dealership first just so you can see it. But yeah. um, you know, this, you see how far out everything spread? Yeah. When this, the, we have a, only about 200 units here. When this place is packed, there will be six or 700 RVs here. Not only that, this location, I know we're getting all wet. <laughs> this location just signed up Newmar. Nice. So this one- Dude, that's a nice coach. Is that for sale? That might be. This one location is going to have Tiffin, Newmar, Integra coach, American coach, Winnebago. I mean, it's gonna have everything. It's, it's insane. I, I don't think I've ever been to a dealer that had all of those brands that you Correct. just mentioned. I'm looking forward and I think part of the reason General RV may be so light on their inventory is they've got this superstar YouTuber. <laughs> or the oh, Corona, one of the two. Uh, I think I think the real credit's right there. 80,000, over 80,000 subscribers. Oh yeah. Dude, I like this silver, black, American dream. I don't know if we'll be able to get the slide out. That's okay. I, I literally just want to get outside of the rain for a second here if we can and see a cool coach. Man, the man with the keys. One key to rule them all. <laughs> Dude, I like this coach. So you guys are going to get to see the American dream here with the slide outs in. I really like this flooring. It's, it's, uh, is that a newer option that they're doing on these American coaches? Yes, yes. And, uh, oh, chair down. And when we get to Florida, we have two or three of these on our lot in Ocala that we'll be able to see split out, yeah. opened up, and everything. Look at this. So this is the Freightliner Liberty chassis. And this is a 2020? Yeah, so this is a 2020. And so what the Liberty chassis is, it's kind of like a modular chassis. So you'll have your Freightliner XCS chassis, which is a straight rail. That's what gives you that bar in the middle. You have a XCR, which is the raised rail, and then you have the Liberty chassis, which is custom made for American Coach. And what it is, it's a modular chassis, and they uh, when it gets shipped, it gets shipped straight. And all we get is this part, and not we, American Coach, gets this part and this part, and then this modular, that the Liberty chassis is made by American Coach to give you the most pass-through storage on a production line coach. This is a really nice coach. I like the colors. I like the whites and grays. If you guys saw the remodel I did in my Tiffin, yep. I kind of copied this same style. Now, the big mistake I made when I did the remodel in my Tiffin is I went with the high gloss floors and my dog slides around on it a yep. little bit. Yep, for sure. And, and that's that's a lot of problems. And I see a lot of, trust me, I love, like the Discovery LXE did the same thing. They had the nice porcelain tile shiny floors and I loved it. But owning it, walking through it it's been getting dirty so that's why a lot of them have been going to this yeah wood country floor look yeah really good looking coach is this a bath and a half oh yeah let's see so how uh, you could definitely get to the half bath here um 
oh we got music going back here now you do have to climb over the bed to get to the rear bathroom but i can tell you that's can huge go climb over i'm dude i'm like soaking wet want to give us the 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 full walk through yeah. how easy is it to walk through with the slide outs in right i mean it's it's a chore and that's part of the problem with these big diesel pushers the better it is you know you gotta go you'll make it <laughs> uh the bigger it is when the slide outs are out the smaller and tighter it is when the slide outs now, are in. now what about the uh the four p's what's the uh... <laughs> So the half bathrooms almost never get the prime pooping position. There's no doubt about it. That rear bathroom's 100%. This one, I would say it passes, but it just crossed <laughs> the line of passing. You know, these half baths, they always make them so small and narrow. But I mean, a pass is a pass. So that's Ooh. prime pooping position. <laughs> that was, I saw it live. Saw and, it live. And, and Matt is exactly the same way in person as he in is, is in his videos. No sugar coating here, ladies and gentlemen. I could probably use some sugar right now though and get wake up and fired up. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going early. Matt, Matt actually uh, texted me at eight o'clock this morning, 5 a.m. Uh, Arizona time so the caffeine's not quite kicking in and we're already going imagine when you get a little bit of caffeine and sugar in us if I can get out of this coach here there we go cool now we can take out some units with the slide outs open okay cool man yeah sorry about so, that no dude I, I appreciate it oh, oh man. just got my booty wet thank you sir it would have been much easier to just jump in the car but I really wanted to see what was going on here at the Virginia oh, General RV we have a nice oh, Thor Venetian here nice. now, now, now so I was not a huge fan of Thor Venetian uh, when I first started 2015 to 2019 really but 2020 and especially 2020 part one uh, or 2021 they did a complete redesign of the interior and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's like this matted brown look, and I, huh. I think Thor really stepped up their game with this product. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Boom, and this is a tag axle too. Steerable tag axle. Steerable tag. Atlas town, it's probably locked. No, yeah. The man with the keys. I like this. So is this a 40, a 42 foot it looks like? Not quite a 45. All right, I'm running in here. Oh, nice. They did step it up. Wow. Right, completely redesigned. This is a 2021? Yes, and they introduced the new cabinetry and this new look this year at the uh, Tampa RV show and they, they knocked it out of the park. Nice. Yeah, they definitely did. I agree 100%. Um, I really like this kitchen area, this countertop. Huge countertop space. And the styling, like you said, just great styling. Nice big mirror there in case you want to... Uh, I don't know if I like the mirror in here, to be honest. But no, 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 that's good. Yeah. And, and here's what I like to tell everybody, you know, when I first started my, my RV review show, doing the three things I liked and three things I didn't like, dude, the industry went like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you letting him do that? Now that it's developed, yeah, you know, it looked like it was a good idea, which it was. But listen, to some people, they're going to absolutely hate this motorhome. Yeah. And it's okay. And that's what I love about it. And some people, this is going to be the perfect motorhome for them. Uh, what I like to tell people, there's not a single RV that's ever been made that hasn't been sold, right? So yep. for the right price, somebody loves this. And, you know, it's okay that you don't like it or you do like it. That's why there's not one brand of RV. There's, exactly. you know, a hundred of them. And that's what's so fun. I, I'm sorry, while you're talking, yeah, man, I couldn't that. stop looking at this. That that's is, the style. That's the biggest screen I've seen. I mean, we're talking all the high-end stuff. I, I think that's the biggest screen I've ever seen. I'm not sure. I like the nice position of a cup holder. You've got a cup holder in the middle, another cup holder over there, another huge digital dash. I like it. It reminds me of the Mercedes Benz with the push button start there. Mm -hmm. How does this thing drive? 
It drives great. I mean, you, you know, he, here's the one thing that that really kind of kind of snake oilish, in my opinion. When you're when you're still on production coach level, they're they're all made by Freightliner. You know, that they're gonna. Here's what I'm saying. It would take a trained, highly trained professional to say, "Hey, this is a Thor," the way Thor builds their coaches, to where this is a Fleetwood, the way they're. You can't tell when it's on the Freightliner or when it's on the Freightliner platform. You know what I'm saying? A 42 is gonna drive like a 42, unless you know, like I can't drive this and be like, "Oh, this drives just like a Thor Venetian," like a car. You can tell with a car. You could be like, "Oh man, this is a Cadillac." some Mercedes, you know, it's not quite that way with motorhomes. Not a lot of until, difference. Until you get to that Prevo level, that Newell yep. level, that custom everything level. I love it. I gotta ask you too, have you ever reviewed a Prevo or a Newell coach on your channel? No, no, the uh, most expensive, no, the, well, actually, what what chassis was that um, Furion Elysium? I don't know, I think it was on a Winnebago chassis, to be was honest. It? Was I, it? That's what it seemed like to me, but, you gotta come out to, I guess you're working for General RV Reviews, but if you ever wanna get hooked up with any of the Prevo or Newell guys, uh, Newell, uh, Miami, Oklahoma, Newell coach, super friendly people, and some of the Prevo guys too, I might be able to get you in as well. So. Talk to me, talk to me. No, I, I love that. Like, nothing more than I love to do than to just review RVs. Um, And there's that place down in Florida maybe we can check out, yeah. I'm not sure, because uh, we're headed that way. But yeah, no, I mean, I but. I think I'd be nervous to do it the first time, but then I'd be like, okay. Just because, you know, I know that customer wants to know, you know, all that technical stuff. I don't think it's as much about the technical stuff. I think people respect your transparency. I think I've been transparent too. Uh, not, I, I, don't, I gotta say, I don't know if I've been as transparent as Matt. Matt literally, I mean, sits on every toilet, climbs on every roof. I mean, Matt, Matt digs deep. So maybe we need a guy like that. Maybe I need to step my game up and dig deeper. And, I feel bad though. I don't want every time I go in, like I, I don't know if you've seen my videos, but I'm like, Matt does the toilet test. No, no, like, no, I love I, that. Like, I dude, I, that. I, like, I, can't, I, I feel like I don't want to steal the toilet test. No, that's your thing. So. No, 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 no. The four piece, the four piece. It, it's not a brand. It's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's right. a community. You know? Okay, guys. So. So I have your permission if I do a toilet test in one of my videos. Permission's granted, all your videos. And now we all did right. just patent the tall test, which you guys might not know this. Andrew's tall. He's 6'3", 6'4". 6'2". Oh, 6'2". 6'2". I got my, my Adidas on today. Oh. But still, no, Andrew, you gotta get in that shower. So like when I get in the shower, dude, I fit in every shower. You know, maybe not this way, but definitely this <laughs> way, right? Whereas like you, you're tall and that's what people want to see. And so we just brought Will on to our Towables channel and people love that he's a big guy like you. Tall, Will's a little bit wide, but you know, they love that because it's real size people going in showers. And, and here's what I say. Whenever I do an RV, right? Like I'm here trying to sell this Tiffin or um, Thor. this uh, Thor Venetian. If the toilet sucks, that's on Thor, that's not on me. I didn't make that toilet, you did, you know? So that's why I don't have a problem calling out manufacturers. And hopefully, and, and, and let me tell you this, the good manufacturers, they will change and they will update. And the bad manufacturers, they'll be like, well, we've been doing this for 40 years and that's it. All right, well, Blockbuster also said that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I definitely have a lot of respect for Matt. I, when I've been in sales in, in the past, I'm only as good as the product that I represent, and I think you have that same same thing. And I think Matt's really changed the RV industry because he's challenged all of these major RV converters to step their game up. Tell them what they like, tell them what they don't like. Like, I'm not really a fan of that mirror just because like, I don't really want to look at myself when I'm out here trying to watch TV. Maybe in the bedroom when I'm like getting dressed, but right. per personal opinion. But I bet you they could switch that out for like a regular picture. Right. For pretty easy. So, Is that a Furion fireplace? Oh yeah, everybody's going with a Furion fireplace. And that's the whole thing, you know, when you look at some brands like, like here's one thing that really, you know, is a pet peeve of mine. Whirlpool, Whirlpool, I love that. I don't like when it's Furion, Whirlpool, Samsung. You know what I'm saying? I like when everybody, I don't I don't even know. Fisher, Pekel, that's the same stuff that's in all like the Liberty coaches and okay, stuff. Okay, so that's a good brand. But yeah. you know what I'm saying. No, like, totally. What, when, when, when they'll get the off-brand stuff, and that's what's actually been going on right now in the RV industry because the manufacturers can't get supplies from certain suppliers. So they have to, uh, we have a travel trailer out front 
One of them has a Dematic AC unit, or no, no, yeah, Dematic. And the same exact year, make, model, and brand, floor plan and everything, has a Furion AC unit. So they're production coach, which means it's supposed to be like the brochure, but it's not right now. So so everybody's worried about, you know, buying an RV right now, and, and that's the whole thing. But I, I have shifted my reviews to tell people, hey, everything you see on this review is on this stock number. Does not mean it's gonna have the same product as the other stock number just because supplies are so low yeah no that makes sense now you are not kidding about this floor plan being really popular i love the huge huge rear bathroom here with the double sinks now that is prime pooping position Bing. <laughs> <laughs> so so here's what i here's what i would say about this unit this is a great size shower it looks like it's a 30 by 36 in a 42 foot tag axle motorhome, that's not a big shower at all. You know, normally you'll have those long 60 inch ones. Yeah. You know, with the teak seats and everything. And with the tile, like, like if this, and it sounds stupid, if this was the 40 foot version, I'm fine with that. 42, you're paying for that tag axle, you got that steerable tag. This should be a tile shower. Yeet. This should be a little bit bigger. Definitely not quite as high end as some of the other, or okay, like even well, that American stone, coach. Right. But it doesn't have quite like that, how it's molded. It's not as high end of a feel as like that American coach we Correct. just looked at. Correct. No, I like it. I still, though, I still think this is a great floor plan, though. Great oh, yeah, styling. For sure. for sure. Well, Matt, I think you and I could probably do this all day, well, but I got to get my rental car returned and okay. we got a road trip down to Florida. We're so going on a road trip. Make sure to keep an eye out for that video. This video is going to be over now, but. Check out Matt's RV reviews if you don't already. Link in the description below. Greatly appreciate all of you liking these videos, subscribing to my channel, subscribing to Matt's channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Cool. See y'all.